believe that I am in a place that looks like this right now. <laughs> what am I learning? I guess the biggest thing that I'm learning is that science agrees with Kabbalistic mystical Judaism. And that is that there's no such thing as time. Time is a construct that we created. It doesn't exist. It's as effortless as this water goes in and out. Just believe and be what you want to bring into this world. I heard a really great example today of getting what you want, and that is from Dr. Joe. If you really want to make a lot of impact in the world, then just make it. If you really want to make a lot of money because you want wholeness and you want to make an impact, just feel whole and make an impact. I'm so grateful because I am learning how to remember to consciously create from consciousness instead of just my vision. But to really believe that I am literally coming from soul first and then creating from that. I've always known these things, but I'm putting it all together. You can show up as the product of where you come from, or you can show up as the product of just divinity. And I think if you show up as the first thing, you might suffer. You have a pretty good chance of suffering because you're holding on to an identity. But if you show up as coming from just a place of consciousness, you may not suffer. So I finally got into the ocean and it's really beautiful. It is pitch black outside. And there are a bunch of us out here. I had to go out there into the ocean. The walking meditation. It's raining. <laughs> we're gonna walk in the, we're gonna do a walking meditation out here in the rain. So I gotta put my rain jacket on, but here we go. Okay, breakfast time. Night number three. Look how pretty it is. There's hammocks. It's 3.30 a.m. We're about to start the morning meditation. I've only gotten three hours of sleep and I feel wired, like I'm completely awake. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. Someone said, instead of drinking Folgers coffee, drink the quantum, baby. Just finished the second coherence healing and I was a mess, a puddle of tears. And at the end, one of the men in my group said, uh, I have immaculate degeneration in my eyes and I said well why don't we take a minute to just put our hands up while we're in the zone we'll be good together and then we all put up our hands and just for like a whole minute we let, asked him to put his hands over his heart and, and I said a prayer I said may the divine work through us and give you full healing in your eyesight and then halfway through the one minute we were doing it I got a clear voice that said it, it's done I just finished the walking meditation on the beach out there we watched the sun go down and I became my new self and I envisioned myself walking seven times in circles around my husband. But right before the end, I put my hands up and I, and I said, God, you showed up. And it just became very clear. I said, it's you, it's you, it's always been you. And then at that moment, I looked up at the treetops it looked like a little lunar eclipse and then I realized it was closer and it was fireflies and that was the theme that I've always wanted to have for my wedding. Watch alone. I didn't light candles tonight but I lit up myself and the last thing he said was you are light. Okay.